loosely owned police vehicle that drives behind me for miles before I realize it's only you. <laughs> you are the stress unnecessarily added to my morning coffee. The kind that burns everyone on their way to work on behalf of the freeway, thank you for the palpitations. April Fools, right? It's not like I can recognize your side mirrors from five miles away. It's not like people learn to identify the shape of your headlights as a survival technique. No! It's like my mother used to say. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Let me guess. You sell heart attack medication, and this is some kind of subliminal advertising. <laughs> a cleverly disguised way for a sadist to get his kicks, that or this, is just another case of oblivious privilege. Tell me, have you seen the list of names lately? Have you noticed it only keeps growing? Is this the association you were going for, or have you chosen to ignore it entirely? Like usual. I'll put it like this. Carfax doesn't know shit about your vehicle's history. <laughs> have you checked the back seat? Ever used a UV light like they do at crime scenes? You may be driving a crime scene. Pull over. Yeah, Look on. underneath. Check the seats for bleach, the carpet for stains, because you know what they say. Blood washes out about as good as racism. Wow. Let me ask you a question. How pale is your skin that you feel safe in this car? Wow. Like it was designed to serve and protect you. Like it never crept up behind you down your own street. Like you've never seen a black and white as a reaper's cloak. I have never known what it's like to be scared for my life when I find you behind me. But someone I love does. Someone I love sitting shotgun, they become a reason to be terrified until you pull up alongside us, smiling, unaware of how prepared I am to run you off the fucking road. Yeah. <laughs>